Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve a cubic equation using Lin's method. The necessity of solving a cubic equation arrives when we go for root locus problems. Right. In some cases, we are having a cubic equation which needed to be solved. If it is a normal cubic equation, then by synthetic division method or trial and error method, we can easily solve. Right. But here, this type of cubic equation, this needs a special method known as Lin's method. Right. So here we will start. So this is our cubic equation. And finally, we will be having three roots. Right. So in Lin's method, we are going to find one root among the three roots. Right. I will show you how. So first we are starting with the different trials. So in first trial, just take the last two values, right? This 9s plus 3.75, right? So here, again, we are having a number along with s, right? So we have to divide this entire expression by that number. So here we are having 9. The next step is we are dividing the entire expression by 9, right? And finally, by solving, we are getting an expression like this, right? s plus 0.42. Now the thing is, we are going to divide our cubic equation, you see, this cubic equation by this term, right, you see. So this is the cubic equation and this is the term just now we got, right. Now we are going to divide. So you see here we are having S cube, right. So I am going to divide this S cube by S. So, S cube by S gives you S square, right? This S and this cube cancels each other. So, write S square here. And now we are going to multiply this term <coughs> with this S square here. So, S into S square, S cube and 0.42 into S square gives 0.42 S square, right? And the next step is we are going to subtract. So, while subtracting these two terms cancels each other, and by subtracting, we are having the answer as 4.83 s square. And the next step, I have to bring this 9s downwards. Right. And again, here, what is the first term? This is our first term. Again, I have to divide this term by s. Right. So, when you divide that term by s, the answer is 4.83 s. So, write it here plus 4.83 s. Right. Then the next step is, again, consider this term. We have to multiply this term with this element, right? So, 4.83s into s gives you 4.83s square. And again, 4.83s into 0 0.42 will give you this answer, right? So, again, these two terms cancel each other. And finally, when you subtract, we are getting the answer as 6.97s plus 3.75, right? So, again, take the first term here. You have to divide this term by s, yes, right? Once you divide, the answer is 6.97. So, again, write this answer here. Now, we have to multiply this expression by this term. So, here we are getting the answer like this, right? So, here the final answer is it is 0 0.82, right? We are not getting 0 here. We have to continue till we get 0, right? So, the next step is for our, we are moving to our second trial. For our second trial, we have to use this factor as a divisor, right? So, here we are taking this factor as a divisor here. That is 6.97s plus 3.75, right? As usual, we have to divide this entire expression by 6.97, right? When you divide, finally we are coming up with this answer. Right. Again, take the same cubic equation here and again we are repeating the same procedure. That is this S cube should be divided by S. So, the answer is S square. So, write the S square here. And again, multiply this expression with S square and write down the answers. Right. Again, we are going to subtract. So, these terms cancel each other. And when you subtract, we are getting the final answer as this 4.71 S square. Plus, the next step, we have to bring this 9S downwards. Again, here, this is your 
first term right we have to divide this term by s again so the answer is 4.71 s so just write it over here again you have to multiply this expression with 4.71 s right so we are getting the answer like this again we have to do subtraction again these two terms cancel each other and finally we are having 6.46 x and finally you have to bring this 3.75 downwards right again this is the first term so we have to divide this term by s yes. so the answer is 6.46 just write it over here and again you have to multiply right and finally we are ending up with the answer as 0.26 Again, we are not getting 0 here. So, again, we have to continue this one. Right. So, for our third trial, the divisor is, this is our divisor part. Right. So, for third trial, this is our divisor part. Right. Again, as usual, we have to divide this expression by this 6.46. So, when you divide and solve, we are getting answer as S plus 0.58. Right. Again, Consider the same cubic equation. Now we are going to divide this cubic equation with this term. Right. So same thing. S cube initially S cube is divided by S. So S square. Write it over here. In the next step we have to multiply this expression with this S square. And we are getting answer like this. And the next step is subtraction. So these two terms cancel out. And finally when you subtract we will be having answer like this. And we are moving this 9 as downwards. Right. Again, this is our first term. We have to divide this term by yes. So, here we will be having 4.67 yes. So, just write it over here. Again, just multiply this term with 4.67 yes. So, here we will be getting the answer like this. Again, these two terms cancel each other. And when you subtract, we are getting the answer like this. And finally, we are moving this 3.75 downwards as usual. 6.3 years should be divided by s yes, and we are getting the answer again we are writing it over here and again we are going to multiply this s plus 0.58 with this 6.3 right so here finally we are getting the answer as 0.1 but we are expecting a zero here so again we are moving to our fourth trial right so for the fourth trial this is our divisor right so again we are repeating the same thing we are taking this and we are dividing this expression by this 6.3 and we are having answer like this. Right. So, now again take the same cubic equation and divide it by this term. The same procedure, right? I hope you people understand. So, here I am having S cube. I am dividing this first term by this first term. So, I am getting S square. So, write it here. Next step, we are going to multiply this expression with S square and we are writing it down right and the next step is subtraction so these two terms cancel each other and finally we are we will be having this 4.6 by s square and the next step is we have to move this 9 s downwards so when you do this again here the first term is this one right we have to divide this 4.6 by s square divided by s so what is the answer it is 4.6 by s right so just write it over here 4.6 by s again you have to multiply again we have to multiply this term with this 4.65 years and here we will be getting the answer like this. And again we have to subtract. While subtracting again these two terms cancel each other and here we will we are having answer as 6.2s. Right. And the next step is we are moving this 3.75 downwards. So again 6.2s divided by s gives 6.2. Right. So 6.2s divided by so, divided by yes, the answer is 6.2 here. So, just write it over here. Again, multiply and again here you are getting the final answer as 0.03. That is more or less. Moreover, it is equal to 0 because 0 0.03 right here. So, here we are finally concluding that this S plus 0.6 is one of the root of this cubic equation. Right. So, you see here we are writing that s plus 0.6 is considered as one of the root of this polynomial right so we are rewriting the expression as you see this is our given cubic equation so for this cubic equation s plus 0.6 is one of the root right so here we are writing s plus 0.6 into you see this is like here we are having 6 
right assume here we are having 2 and here the answer is 3 right so 6 can be written as 2 into 3 right similarly this expression can be written as the multiplication of this expression and this expression right assume this in the place of 2 and this term in the place of 3 right that's it so here we are finally concluding that s plus 0.6 is one of the root and the remaining root is like this so here we are having a quadratic equation right so solving a quadratic equation is comparatively easy, easier because we know the basic formula right minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a right using that formula we can solve this and finally we can find out what are all the roots for this expression right that's all the problem gets over here if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you